Okay, lovely people, we're going to make a really quick uh, fish pie. Some fish pie is a great dish, something that people really, really love, comfort food, but it can go on and on and on and on and it take ages to do. So a few little tweaks to make it quick. Kettle on, and then uh, whether you peel or not peel, uh, slice your potatoes into sort of inch dice. Right, if it's inch dice, they'll cook within about sort of five minutes, which is nice. Pan on. I'm going to do it leeks instead of onions, just to make a difference and then just finely slice it. The finer you slice it, the quicker they'll cook. Yes, we want them to be sweet. And to do that, we're going to add a little water to the pan, a little butter. So in the pan, we go some olive oil, a couple of tablespoons, a little knob of butter. That's going to really help to bring the sweetness out of the leeks. I'm going to take the board over, just get those leeks going. Same principle with the carrots. Carrots are a beautiful flavour, uh, nice and sweet. Get them nice and get them nice and finely chopped, so we get that going. So we'll fry that quickly. Potatoes are nearly done. Uh, any white fish, haddock, cod, uh, even monkfish is lovely. Some salmon is always quite nice and sort of chunky and flaky in a fish pie. So with the fish here, I'm just going to slice it up into sort of large chunks, like that about an inch and a half in size. Prawns you can leave whole or just lightly run your knife through it so everyone kind of gets a bit, spread around a bit more. Same with the cod here. Slice that up. And then I'm going to put that straight into our dish here. I'm going to season that just so it's nice and tasty. Right now, pinch of salt, a little pepper, and then I'm going to use a little parsley. So just gather the parsley together like that. Just slice it up like that. Now, this parsley goes into here. The lemon juice here, I'm just going to cut in half and squeeze into my hands, catching any pips. 700 grams of fish there, mixed fish, um, about 120 grams of grated cheddar cheese here, or any good melting cheese. I put about half in there. And then, at this point in the game, I've got the sweet leeks, the carrots, they're nearly cooked now. I'm going to put a nice big handful of spinach in there. So lots of the good stuff. Literally in 30 seconds that will cook down. The potatoes are done. So what I want to do is just grab that. So, once you've drained them, put these potatoes back in the pan. Just back on the heat for 30 seconds, and that will just sort of dehydrate the potatoes. You'll see the steam coming off now, just so it's, you know, you're going to get a nice, dry, fluffy consistency. Now, we're, this is kind of your veg. Also, it's the base to your sauce. So, we're going to use about 100 mils, 120 mils of single cream. Okay, so these, you can turn the gas hob off now. You want a nice, confident knob of butter going into the potatoes. You can do olive oil if you want to be a little healthier, um, but obviously the butter's delicious. Season it with a good pinch of sea salt. And all we're going to do now is use our masher. I mean, as you can see, like just looking at the gear here now, looks really, really nice, hangs beautifully. The nice thing about this masher here is it's sort of thick, chunky, rounded off size so it doesn't scratch anything, but also you've got the masher here, but then this lovely bit of rubber here that you can kind of get that action around the pan. So we'll see what's going on now. Just what I'm going to do, now that it's come to the boil, I'm just going to put this over here and literally pour that over the fish. So that's going to be really nice. Um, I'll come back to that in a second with my masher here. These mashed potatoes were done very quickly. Obviously using the boiling kettle, cutting the potatoes up to an inch dice means it cooks nice and quickly. By the time you've given them a good little mash up here, you can see it kind of gathering up around here. What we can do is use this rubber bit here and you can just really go around the edge and you can see literally where it kind of scoops it up. So, little mash, mash, mash. In literally sort of 15 minutes, you can put together this dish uh, in a bit of a, you know, we haven't got, we're using much less pans than a usual fish pie. We're not poaching. Um, we've got the lovely fresh fish, the leeks, the spinach, 
lemon juice, lemon zest, and then we've got our beautiful mashed potato here. Just going to plop it in and around in piles, just sort of just use it to fill up the little gaps. The nice thing about this as well, that potato topping, it's not just potato, it's not just crispy. It's kind of almost like putting a lid on a pan and kind of, I don't know, it kind of keeps all the moisture inside that fish pie. I'm gonna bake that in an oven uh, at about 180 degrees Celsius, 350-ish Fahrenheit for about half an hour, because it's all warm and ready to go until crisp and golden. Let me show you one that I did earlier. This has been in for about 35 minutes. So, have a look at that. Absolutely beautiful, really quick, really delicious. And you can see by using the bits of kit, you can get the extra flavor, you know, and sort of textures going on. It's a nice opportunity to use the spoons that we got here. I'd serve this just with some lovely peas, spring peas, and a nice green salad. Really nice, you know, quite fresh and simple with quite sort of Moorish and lovely. Let's just go in here. So there you go, a beautiful fish pie. All those lovely flavors, just a great dish and a little bit quicker than the usual one because we've got those little cheats and shortcuts, but a great dish.